build a fence. It's not because I hate Mexicans. It's not because I hate Canadians. Although, let me think about that. <laughs> I don't hate people because of where they came from. I give them time. I hate them for real, legitimate reasons. <laughs> Illegal immigration. Illegal immigration. What part of that title don't they understand? Illegal immigration? No, it's slavery. Immigration? Yes. It's what built this country. Why is it they don't understand the difference between the two? I implore them, go to the Statue of Liberty. Stand at her feet. Read the plaque. We've all heard it a million times. Bring me your tired, your poor. But what nobody ever quotes is the last part. The last part for I hold my lamp beside the golden door. A golden door. This is a special place. This, this land has a golden door. Treat it as someplace special. Honor it, revere it, protect it. Most of all, make them come through a door. <laughs> we live in a different world. It's imperative. We live in a time... I know you feel this way. I have four children. How many times, as parents, have we thought to ourselves, I hope this is all passed by the time they've got children. I don't want my children to go through this. Democrats, Republicans, Independents, we want to do the hard work so our children don't have to. We're willing to do the hard work, so our children don't have to. I'll defend America. I'll give up my life for America. I will do whatever I have to defend America as defined by the Constitution, but I'm not sure those in Washington will do the same. I'm not sure if they see it. Who are we? Who are we? Are we a country that can't get it done? Are we a country that's bogged down in war? Are we, are we a country that can't stand on our own two feet? We have to go and fly halfway across the world and fall down at the, the knees of a sheik for more energy? Who are we? Are we that? Or are we the country that changed the world? Are we the country that ignited the imagination that first gave humans the real taste of freedom? Are we the country that gave the world the light bulb, the telephone, the movie, the car, the assembly line, the artificial heart, the computer, bifocal, sewing machines, refrigerator, the internet, safety pins, televisions, cash registers, crayons, Henry and Winchester repeating rifles? Are we that country? I contend we are that country. We still are that country. We still are those people 
We still are those inventors. We're still that free spirit. By the way, all of those things had the same thing in common. Government wasn't involved in any of them. No, no, I'm sorry, wait. I'm sorry, with an exception of the internet, which is invented by Al Gore. <laughs> Let me just close. By saying, our leaders have time and time again asked us to do our part. And that has been go to the mall. Take your rebate check. Don't save it. Spend it. Others have just taken it upon themselves. I don't I don't know how many people in this room realize that tonight you're in the presence of Marcus Luttrell. Marcus Luttrell, a guy who kept an unknown face of a 9-11 victim in his pocket. And he and three other friends faced off 400 Taliban and Al-Qaeda members, and he was the lone survivor. How awful it is that he did that while we considered our sacred duty of going to the mall. Where is the politician? Where is the politician that will just be honest with us, that will just say, I love my country and I know you do too. I know we feel the same way. We might disagree on policies, but you want to do the right thing? I'm sorry. There's more to do than just go to the mall. Just a few things, since no politician will ask you. For my children and your children, let me ask you. Just get out of debt. When did Americans start looking at thrift as a bad idea? Educate yourself. Educate your children. If you don't educate your children, the education they're getting will educate you. Just educate your children. Do you realize it was this year that I started to read things that I'd never heard before? I started to read about Woodrow Wilson. What a evil rat bastard president that guy was. I went to the head of the James Madison Project in Princeton University and I said, you hold, the, you hold the Woodrow Wilson chair at Princeton, right? And he said, yeah. And I said, he was an evil rat bastard president, wasn't he? He said, oh yeah. <laughs>